Saletti with Tim Bernini's camp tonight. And Nick, this seat held by Republicans since the 80s, it's going to stay that way for now. Democrats have some reason, at least, for optimism. Katie, Steve, I've covered a number of election nights, and I have to tell you, this is by far the most enthusiastic I have ever seen a losing crowd before. They knew this was going to be a tight race, and it looks like that's what they got. Debbie Lesko seems like she's going to pull this one off, but only by a single-digit margin, virtually erasing that 21-point lead Donald Trump had here in 2016. And I'm going to step out of the way because the candidate, Dr. Hero Tipperini, is still here behind me celebrating and congratulating her volunteers. Now, her camp sees this as a definite victory. They feel like they have momentum. And she's talking to us exclusively tonight about her future plans. Take a listen. Look, win or lose, it's a victory. It's a victory. Look at this district. Look at what has come alive, the energy and the momentum. It is a win either way, any way you look at it. And tonight you're vowing to run again in November. I am committed to running again in November. Katie Steve also developing tonight. Dr. Tipperneni tells me she is not conceding despite the fact that the Associated Press has already called this race for Debbie Lesko. I spoke to some campaign insiders just a short time ago. They want all the votes counted, and they tell me they have reason to believe, based on their math, that they could still be within striking distance. But of course, we won't know that until all of those votes are officially counted. We're live here tonight in Glendale. Nick Saletti, ABC 15, Arizona. Nick, thanks. And looking ahead, it's going to be back to the campaign trail almost immediately. The term for this seat expires in January and the primary election for the next term is August 28th with the general election November 6th.